It's just so awkward with you <laughs> staring at me. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for checking out today's video. Today's gonna be real short and sweet. Today's run was seven miles on the incline trainer. I did one mile uh, flat, then one mile at 20% incline and alternated that. So I did four miles total flat and then three miles at 20% and I had 3,547 feet of gain, I think. I'll put my Strava up here so you can take a look at it. Uh, anyway, so today we had mail day and I got some new lights, hopefully you can tell. Uh, also, my wife got a package in the mail today, so I'm going to bring her in and we're going to open it up because it's a pair of shoes that she's never tried before. Hi guys! This is my wife, Valen. Hi! Alright, so she's going to open up her uh, shoes from Running Warehouse and we'll take a look at them. She got some uh, Hoka Torrents, so go ahead and check them out. Hopefully I won't cut myself in the process of this. Safety first. She's never had the Hoka Torrent before. She did try the Hoka Speed Goat, but it was a little bit too high of a stack for her, and she kind of had some uh, issues where she felt like she was going to trip a lot, so return those. I did trip a lot. So pretty. Very nice. Yeah, I like the colorway. Very nice. These are the Hoka Torrents, the originals, not the two, by the way. So. Very nice. Let's nice. take this out of the way. For comparison, this is mine, the Hoka Torrent and the men's, obviously, pretty pretty dirty. Uh, hers are much cleaner, much nicer. And this is her old shoe. This is the, uh, what is this, the Topo? This is the Topo Athletic Ultra Venture, which I love. It's been a great shoe for me, but to be quite honest, it's ugly as sin. Um, yeah, so. Topo, you need to up your game because like, your colorways are bad <laughs> so get a stylist yeah so Steve, yeah steven talked me into getting the torrent after he showed me how pretty they were so the girl and me decided i'd give them a try so i'll let you guys know how, how it goes uh, let's take this thing out here so the torrent the reason i love this shoe this is my favorite obviously not the female shoe but that one down there is my favorite trail shoe uh for up to about 40 miles uh, the reason being is it's got great lugs uh, it's got a five millimeter lug depth you can see it's pretty nice, pretty aggressive. So the stack height, you got 26 millimeter in the rear with 21 in the front for that five millimeter drop. Uh, it gives you some nice cushioning in the rear. Cushion in the forefoot's pretty good. Uh, I've worn, I've got one pair of my torrents up to like 300 and, at least 350 miles, I don't remember exactly, but uh, they still feel okay, but I wouldn't wanna wear those really longer than like 25 miles right now. So I have my other pair, which is less than that, and those are, I would definitely take those out on a 40 mile run. They're awesome. So she can easily wear these in a 50K uh, if her foot you know, feels good. If she likes them, you know, she's still gonna run them. She hasn't tried them yet. The upper on the Torrent is extremely breathable. Uh, the reason I like it is you know, like my feet sweat a ton. She doesn't really have that problem. <laughs> but my feet sweat a ton and I'll be drenched in eight, nine miles where my feet are squishing and you can hear it's like <laughs> with every step. So. These are breathable and they dry very well. So you can go through creeks, they drain pretty well. They do have a little bit of this uh, overlay around the edge to give it some durability, but it still drains pretty well. And with them being so breathable, my feet dry. And you know, I wear the exoskin socks, she does too. Uh, and we don't blister uh, and it's just, they're, they're great. So lacing is good. Uh, I've never had issues with these, like the Speed Goat uh, 3. They changed their laces to where they would come untied on the trail if you didn't double knot them. These you don't have to double knot and they stay secure. With the way I tie my shoes, I had hokas in the past and I've always needed to do the runner's knot. So I'll check these out and see if I need to do that, if the lock is good. Cause I have a wide forefoot and a narrow heel. Yeah. And it's got a semi gusset or it's got a fully gusseted tongue. Uh, comfort, you know, comfortable tongue. It's got some cushion to it. So it's not gonna press down on her foot when she ties those tight. Uh, it's a great shoe, pretty lightweight. I'm actually gonna put it on the scale and we'll see what it is. All right, so the women's size 11, she doesn't want me to tell you, the women's size 11 is uh, 9.3 ounces. All right, I'm going to put my shoe on there too and check it out. Men's size uh, 11. It's got some dirt on it, but it comes in at 10.2 ounces. I think when these are uh, not dirty, I think they're under 10, they were in the nines. 
Now we're gonna uh, weigh her Topo Ultra Ventures. They're very worn and dirty and nasty. Okay. 10.9 ounces, so that was 9.4. That's an ounce and a half, almost difference. Big difference. So that should be a huge difference for her. She should really notice that on the trails. So anyway, um, that's it. She'll tech them. Are you gonna run the those this weekend? I can wear my five mile on Friday, but I have to run the treadmill on Saturday because you ran. So she's gonna wear them uh, for a, a shorter run coming up, so she'll be able to test them out and get her thoughts on those. Uh, and then I've got my long run scheduled Saturday and she's going to have to kind of work hers around. we got some family things going on Sunday. But anyway, that's it for today. I appreciate you guys checking this out. Just remember to give a thumbs up to the video if you liked it. And also click that subscribe button if you have not done so already. To everybody that has clicked subscribe, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. We actually hit, uh, I went to bed last night with less than 300 subscribers. I was thinking, man, I hope I hit 300. I woke up this morning, I had 300 subscribers. So thank you so much. My goal for August, uh, we started the month of August with, I think it was right at 199, something like that. And I wanted to get to 250 in August. So we've already blown that out of the water and hit 301 right now. So thank you guys so much. Couldn't have done that without you guys watching and supporting. So thank you. Anyway, um, like I said, thank you and I'll see you tomorrow.